For this video, I'm making a cake with fresh oranges. It will be orange tiramisu. Hi, I'm Valentina. I'll show you how to make orange tiramisu. Instead of coffee, we will use fresh oranges and orange juice. It's super refreshing and creamy. So, let's start! For this delicious and refreshing cake, we will need few fresh oranges, three bigger or five smaller, 400 grams of mascarpone, double package of ladyfingers, orange juice, 250 milliliters of heavy cream. First, we will combine mascarpone and heavy cream. Since mascarpone is thick, it can be harder to mix in the beginning. It is easiest to use a mixer. Even then, I choose to slowly add the heavy cream so I don't end up with mess around the mixing bowl. The cream should be thick and not runny, otherwise the cake won't hold one setup. Once you got the cream smooth and thick, add 2 spoons of shredded orange peel. This will give fine aroma to the cream. I didn't add any sugar to it, because we all like it refreshing and the heavy cream itself was already sweetened enough for my taste. But if you like it more sweet, feel free to add powdered sugar according to your taste. Peel the oranges. Make sure to remove as much as possible of the white skin, because it will give bitter taste when chewed. It is the best if the oranges have more sweetness than sourness. If they are sweeter, they will make a good contrast to the mascarpone cream. Cut the oranges in 1 cm wide circles. I cut 4 smaller oranges in circles and 1 smaller in small cubes. Soak the lady fingers in orange juice. Use any orange juice that you really like. It does determine the taste of the lady fingers layer, so it is better that it's a good one. I use carbonated orange juice. Spread half of the mascarpone cream on top of lady fingers. On the cream, spread orange cubes. Now comes the other layer of lady fingers soaked in orange juice.
On top of this, spread the rest of the mascarpone cream. For decoration, use orange circles. I place them on the cake in the way that when I cut the cake each portion would have one orange circle on top. This is why it is better if you use smaller oranges. Finally, I sprinkled some vanilla sugar on top of each orange circle for better aroma. If you liked this video, give me a thumbs up and of course subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know down below in the comments how did you like this fruity fresh orange tiramisu.